Um, well, I'm going to leave the, those decisions up to our state board, but um, what I would say is that um, the, the fact that it's a one-year contract, if you will, um, I think we ought to be very, um, yeah, I believe in accountability with charters. I believe that having a charter of any kind should be a privilege, and I think um, we ought to learn uh, from whatever lessons uh, that, that come out of, of this experiment and uh, replicate what we see uh, as the positives. And um, I think particularly with charters, we need to be, and it's important to note that with our charter advisory board, uh, our reconstituted charter advisory board, um, I think we've held a very high bar for entry into getting a charter. Um, in, in this last uh, session, I think there were over 70 applicants and uh, maybe 15 were admitted. Um, so having that high bar is important. And then um, also um, having the courage to say, uh, you know, after a certain amount of time, and I think with virtuals, the fact that it's a year is, is a good thing. Um, and because generally you know what a school's going to be, particularly a charter school, a startup, if you will, after three years worth of data. And I think to prolong that for kids is doing a disservice to kids. And, and this state board, um, more so than state boards in the past, has closed down these schools and, and been quick to close down schools. Now there have also been more charters and that's been pretty well documented, but um, I'm a big believer in quality over quantity. Would you like to weigh in? I mean, it, I can't. <laughs> it, it's the law. I mean, uh, it's it's been stated that we have to approve two virtual charters and so um, as such, I think that the state board is doing their due diligence to ensure that as Eric mentioned, it, it's, it's about quality and we want to make sure that the candidates who are approved are providing premium service to all students. Um, so there has to be safeguards, there has to be oversight to ensure that that's happening. Um, and because it's a pilot, I think that the scrutiny should be more intense because, I mean, the, the, I guess the idea is that uh, you're kind of assessing whether this is something that should be uh, replicated, whether it's a worthy pursuit. And so you, got, you have to kind of look at things under a microscope and really make sure that this is the best thing for all kids, that all students uh, have access, right, that if they don't have computers, if they don't have uh, learning coaches, you know, will those be provided? Uh, how can you really ensure that those things are, are in place so that it doesn't just become a, a VIP section for students that, that can afford uh, that sort of resource? Uh, so uh, that would be my, my take on it, just make sure the oversight's in place.